Hi guys, hope you're okay. Uh, nice to be with you again. Uh, today, I'm just going to do a couple of just small little dances that are, you know, just social dances that you can uh, use when you've got very limited space. So if you're at a house party or you know, if you're at a crowded dance floor or something like that, you've, you've kind of just got a bit of space around you here, but yeah, there's, no, there's no chance of whizzing off over there or, or whatever you want to do. So it's making use, the best use of the space that you've got. So uh, this first one, it's quite simple, uh, it's got spins into it, so you're just going to have to be careful about your balance uh, when you do it. But I'll take you through it um, and then we, we can have a look at it from there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn me back, I'm going to do it this way because it's probably easier this way uh, and I'll face the front uh, secondary. So we start with the weight between the feet and you're just going to step onto the left foot and you're going to do a step and turn a quarter turn to the right, tap, back and tap. Then repeat that again, step, tap, back, tap, okay? So just going facing you, I've turned, starting on that left, left foot, I go step, tap, back, tap, step, tap, back, tap, okay? So we've ended up like that. Then we're going to do a, a turn to the left, starting on the left foot, for a left, right, left, and tap. And there's only one bit more to this routine. Just move on there. And we're going to do what we call a disco whirl. It starts on the right foot and you're paddling yourself around on the left for a one, a two, a three, a four. And then the whole dance starts again. Step, tap, back, tap, step, tap, back. Tap, turn, two, three, and tap, on the spot, and three, and four, step, tap, okay? So you can see basically, all of the, the only uh, room I've used, just about four foot here. Uh, you can even go, it's shorter than that if you want, you can actually dance on the spot if you need to. But visually, it's not bad. So you can, wow, we, you know, yourself a bit up here if you want to. Um, arm action and feet from here, just I'll face the front on this, you've got a step and tap and the arms cross, back and tap. Repeat again, step and tap, back and tap. For the turn, you can bring your arms up and you can roll into it for a turn, two, three and tap. And you kind of rolling like an aeroplane wing and then for the disco whirl you can just freehand style here for a five and six and seven and eight and there's a lot of disco whirls there's loads of things you can just use lasso you can use both hands up you can entirely up to you depending on um, how, how much you want to put into it so i'll just do that again facing forward then back, then we'll dance it, okay? So, starts with the feet together. You've got a step and tap, back and tap, step and tap, back and tap. Turn and two and three and tap, round you go and three and four. Step, tap, back, tap, okay? On that last one, if you can get as many whirls as you can into it, that's great. Just watch your balance that you don't go over. So I've only done one on that, but you can do more. So we're just facing that way, as you can see from the back. We've got a step and tap, back and tap, step and tap, back and tap. Turn and two and three and tap. Disco will and three and four. Start to gain three and four. Okay. Tiny little dance, but visually it's okay. So let's just try it to something a little, a little bit uh, 
speed you and see how it goes. Okay.